Okay, we're going to now um, set up this um, uh, this smart lock on my uh, on my phone. So I've downloaded the app, which is the Janus uh, app, and it tells me I've got no locks um, let. So I click that button. I'll press the button on there. Click OK, and I'll pair. Wait a few seconds. And now I can then type in what I want to call this lock, and I'm going to call it uh, a demo. Oops, a demo lock. Continue. Pick a profile. I'll pick that one, um, and then it takes us uh, all the way through. Done. There we go. And now I've got it on my phone. So we've now got the uh, demo lock uh, on my phone. I can click that and I've got all sorts of uh, things happening here. So I can first of all click uh, unlock uh, now. And as you can see, it will uh, unlock the, uh, the door. And in a couple of seconds, it will uh, relock it. Another useful function on this um, uh, lock is I can click that, which is used as a normal handle. So what I've now done is I've now set this up so this will permanently use a, um, a, a as a normal handle until I decide to unclick it. And now it's gone back into its normal mode. So how would I use this or why would I use this? Let's say I was uh, working in um, an office and I had a storage room and during the day I just wanted to have the storage room open so I could then um, uh, go in and out as I want. And as soon as I left the office, go for lunch or go for a break or whatever, I could then click it into the, um, uh, into the electronic uh, lock mode. And uh, so then people have to put a, a, a lock in. So it's a really useful function. At any time, I can uh, also look at the unlock uh, history here. So I can just click on that and it will tell me uh, the date and the time and who actually unlocked. And it currently says you, which is me, obviously. Um, but uh, shortly I'll show you some other uh, functions of this particular uh, lock and uh, app where uh, other people can be uh, assigned uh, to go in and I can then check on their history as well. As we look at this uh, app, there's a couple of other things. Um, one is this little battery indicator here, and uh, this is the, the battery level of the actual lock itself. So this is showing that it's at 89%, uh, and uh, once it gets uh, down to a very low level, I can then just quickly uh, uh, replace the batteries. Uh, and the second thing it's showing me down here is who has got any rights, the access right, to currently to get into this lock. And currently it's me and I am the administrator of, of this particular lock. And so I can control what goes on with this particular lock. This um, app has got some really useful uh, features. So let's um, go in. Quite often you'll hear about people saying, that, do you have an emergency code just in case somebody turns up at your home or at this particular room and uh, can't get in and just needs to get in. So, and you're away somewhere so why don't we set ourselves up a, a code so um, we can go into um, passcode I'm going to just set it up once for a single uh, time access because it's an emergency code I'm going to put in the code one two three four three two one and then I'm going to create that access code and now I've done it let it uh, link up click done and it's down here. So it's user, I can use it any time and I can only ever use it once as a single access code. So someone's phoned you up, they need to get in, you know, you're on holiday, whatever, they've got to get into that particular room. So what can we do? One, two, three, four, three, two, one. I can now get in. I've got into the room. Now let me, I want to go in again. I forgot, let me go in again. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. It's a one-time single access code uh, as an emergency. Very useful feature. What else can I do? All right, um, now I've got on holiday. 
and people need to get in and out of that storeroom, that doctor's room, uh, that office, that house, uh, or the room in a house, whatever. Um, and they need to get in uh, during the day. And it pain in the ass just doing it once. So let's see what we can do. So um, I can now generate a one day passcode. And it's auto generate. So uh, I'm going to, it's now July the 7th, a um, few hours left. So it's now going to allow me uh, July the 7th. And I'm going to create this code here. So uh, click done. Um, and then we've got this code 4112322. Let me just try that. 4112322. So now this lock will open all day on the 7th of July if I put that code in. Otherwise, it won't work. So if you go on holiday, you can set yourself a, a code so people can get into a particular room. And you can pick uh, you, you can pick a series of dates as well. Let's look at uh, setting up a code for um, a, a series of uh, days. So uh, as long as someone's got the code, they can they, they can get in. So uh, let's have a look at this. So we can go and we can create a passcode, and I can do it in a limited date access. So I can then click on uh, the wheel and it'll give me any date I want. So I'm gonna go from the 7th of July and uh, we're gonna to go to July the 10th there. So I want someone to be able to get into um, uh, this particular lock any time between the 7th of July and the 10th of July and I'm gonna give them the uh, numeric code 1234. I'm gonna create that code and then it's done. Give it a second, it's now done. And it's down here, it shows you down here every day, so we can use it between the 7th and the 10th of July. So as long as um, a work colleague or someone that you know goes in, and they can go one, two, three, four. So between the 7th of uh, July to the 10th of July, I could use that uh, particular code. As I say, if people are on holiday, um, or just need limited time uh, access for a particular reason. We've now got um, a limited day. Let's say I have a, um, uh, let's say you have a cleaner who comes in on a Tuesday. L what can we do? So limited day access. So I can give somebody uh, an access right on a Tuesday to get into the lock as long as they put four, three, two, one. I can then create the access code. And that will then be every Tuesday and then it's done. The, the lock knows, it has a, a date that you set up when you, uh, when you set the lock up, as you saw in the first video. And so on a Tuesday, I can uh, use that lock and so someone can, someone can get in. Uh, but on a Wednesday, you wouldn't be able to use it. Now let's look at um, a limited time. So um, we could create a, a passcode for a limited time. So I could have someone between the hours, let's make that a little bit further. Uh, it's 8.20 now. So uh, let's say I could have, I can use this lock up until uh, 8.55 if I put in the code one, two, three, four threes access code. we go. There we go. So during those times, I can actually use this, uh, this lock. And now we can get even more um, specific as to what we are allowed. So let's look at the access, right? I'm going to create a code again. And Let's say I want to say that anyone can use this lock between nine o'clock in the morning to six o'clock. Um, so define that a little bit further. Let's say between nine and 12, so it's gonna be in the morning uh, on a Monday. I can do that. Or alternatively, what I could do is I could say that um, you can actually have it on any Monday between the 7th of July and the 6th of August 
uh, in the morning. You can set anything you want to allow people to get in at a specific time or a date range. Whatever you want to do to control this lock, you can do with a push button. And in a few seconds, I'm going to talk to you about how you can now send a key, an electronic key, to uh, one of your family, your friends, or a work colleague. Right, now we want to uh, give somebody uh, electronic uh, access um, to uh, the phone. So I've got a, a secondary phone here, this could be uh, anybody. Uh, they'll need to have a, an account with uh, Janice, so they have the, uh, the app on the phone. And now I can give um, um, plus, um, give access rights. I'm going to invite by, uh, on this one, I'm going to invite by account code. Uh, it could be by uh, email, but let's go to KC. Seven W Q four J Y done, and I'm going to give um, this particular phone. I'm going to give a single time access. They can only ever use it um, once, but I could do anything like before, like a limited time access, uh, limited day access, um, uh, limited date access. And obviously, if you had um, a data access for the next year, they could uh, use it for, um, uh, for a year or whatever you want them to do. So uh, I've now sent to this phone through the app, a. Um, they can use it any day they want. They can use it once as a, um, as an, I mean, it's just uh, appeared here. Now let's just see what happens uh, in a second. I'm now going to uh, give this phone um my mate's phone i'm going to give them a code um i think on this one i'm going to give them access for uh, the rest of the day uh or i could give it for the the rest of the year it doesn't really uh doesn't really matter so continue i'm going to give them a let me see i'm going to give them a limited date access I'm going to allow them to use this lock any time between the 7th of July today to the 6th of August. Continue. And that's now done. And uh, as before, I'll show you how that works on this, uh, on this other phone. So as before, this is the, uh, the other phone. Here's my uh, own phone. And uh, I'm now going to uh, click... And you can see it says I can use this every day between the 7th of July to uh, the 6th of August. I'm going to uh, unlock now. And there you go. Just as before, let it reset itself. Before, if you remember, uh, it would not uh, allow us to get in. Let's see what happens this time. There you go, straight in. And I can do that until the, um, the 6th of August. And I'm going to do one more video for you to show you the features of this and then hopefully uh, you'll get the idea. So the final video is uh, going to be giving uh, my cleaner uh, access rights uh, on a regular basis. So all she has to do is just take a phone with her. She doesn't have to remember uh, anything. Um, and... Uh, that will be uh, much uh, easier, I think, doing it that way. So I put the code in, uh, which is her uh, account code. Click done. Continue. Now I'm going to give her limited time access between the hours of uh, nine o'clock at night. Let me go here. Oh, sorry, eight o'clock at night. There we go. Till ten o'clock at night. And I'm going to allow her to uh, come in on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and a Friday. And continue. So that will continue forever, for as long as I, I, I've got this. And let's see if that uh, works in, in real life. So I've now set up something, a real life situation. Maybe you've got builders, uh, maybe you've got a uh, work colleague, whatever it is. Um, you can allow them um, controlled access just using the app rather than remembering a, a, a code, um, and I'll show you how that works. On the other phone, here's my, uh, my, my phone. 
and you can see that the um, the demo lock has now appeared on this particular phone here and uh, it tells I can use it once I'm going to click on lock wait a second I can now get him let it uh, reset itself and try again try as I might it will not be able to do it so I can use this phone to, um, to open the lock but this is the administrator phone I'm going to send it another um, uh, instruction in a second and that will then give you the idea of exactly how all this works let's say this is the cleaners phone um, then my lock she can see that this um, lock has come from me um, she's allowed to use this, this lock anytime between 8 o'clock to 10.05 um, on a weekday so it is a weekday it is um, now there you go and uh, so I don't have to be around I could be um, wherever and so that's a, a controlled access to this lock using the iPhone and still I could also add in here um, a code as well so I could still have uh, numerous people have different access to um, my particular lock and I'll just uh, quickly show you how we um, we can actually control uh, who's going in and what we can see who's been uh, going into our uh, our locks um, using my uh, my app